Hello, hello. <coughs> ¿Quién anda ahí por aquí? Hello, teacher. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Hello, teacher. <laughs> What is that? Tigres del Norte. What's up, Mr. Yo, Jose? ¿Qué onda? You're listening to Tigres del Norte? Sí, perdón, es la radio que me, me agarraron en el carro. <laughs> Don't worry. You're driving? Mm, yes. To your house? Así es. Alone? Alone? Alone. For two hours. No. Uh, five minutes. Uh, on ten. Ah, okay, that's good. What's up, Miss Bianney? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great. It's a very, very long day. Too much work? Yes. The I attend the uh, 30, 30, participate. 30, oh my God. Yeah, no, 30. Three zero. No, one, one three. And three. Okay, Thir 13. Put Thir emphasis on that, teen. 13, 13, 13. participate. Y, y el otro, Jackie, Jackie, el otro viene ahí, es pones emphasis en el third, por ejemplo. 30, 30, 30. Y el otro es 13. 13, you know? 13. Mr. Richie, what's up, man? How are you? Ricky, Ricky. Hello, teacher. How are you, Ricky? Bien, teacher. I'll see. Good. With camera. Ay, tiene que irme la playera porque estoy medio enfadado. Bien, ¿eh? ¿Estás fodonga también? No. Ya aquí sí, mira, no pone cámara. Taking a shower. All right. Ready for today? Let's get to work. Okay. Mm. Class of today. Very interesting class, actually. We're going to go with, we're going to continue with simple past. Simple past. All right. And what we need to understand in here is going to be this division. We need to do a division with simple pass, okay? Mm. In this case, we're gonna talk about the spelling. Okay, for the spelling, I don't know if you remember, but the spelling has different rules, you know? Add ed, add d only, add I E D add double consonant. Okay, these are the rules that we have been working. That we worked yesterday on this. Right? Like that. The spelling. And the class of today is going to be right here. Class of today is pronunciation, pronunciation, okay? And in that pronunciation, we are going to have three divisions in here. We're going to have the D, the T, and the ed, ed, which is ED, okay? This was yesterday, okay? E D D I E D and double consonant. That was from yesterday. This is from today. The pronunciation. What's up, Mr. Jose? 
How are you? I'm good. good. I'm good, teacher. I'm good. Yeah. What What are you eating? Nuts. Hot nuts. No. Regular. Japanese. Oh, Japanese. Japanese nuts. <laughs> What happened, Jackie? No, no phone, no camera, tampoco. Oh yes, this should. Come on. Um, one minute. Oh, come on, this. Yes, one minute. Look at Richie. What's up, Ricky? Ya conocían a Ricky o no le habían visto la cara a Ricky nunca en la vida? Never. Como no la conocí, la aprendí. Bueno, la su monto. Thank you, Ricky. Has visto las clases, Ricky? Eh, las pasadas dos de esta semana no, las demás sí. Yeah, I see. No las había enviado esta vez. Okay. All right, so let's get to work. The pronunciation, all right? Pronunciation of ED, part number one. I'm going to start with BNA because you are camera number one. Can you help me to read BNA, please? <clears throat> number one. When we have a word finished with ed, we have three different options to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. So every time that you have an ed, every time you need to analyze what pronunciation is, td or ed. And today we are going to analyze one by one. Can you tell me, Jose, for number one, can you help me? Sorry. <laughs> if no the word right finishes now. with a voice, consonant sound, the ED is pronounced, pronounced as D. Uh -huh. So if we talk about voice sound or voice consonant sound, it's the, remember the vibration? The exercise of vibration that we finish? You don't remember? Uh, you remember, Vianney? The exercise of vibration. For example, look at this verse, all right? Open your microphones if you want. The pronunciation, call, 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 vibration, right? Call, call. and then, Clean. Clean. Offer. Offer. Damage. 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 Love. 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 Vibration, <laughs> right? So. Qué interesante eso. Si el verbo termina en vibración, la E de E is going to sound like D. So, clean. no va a ser clean, clean it. No va a ser clean, clean. it. Ajá. Clean. Va a ser cleaned. 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 You see? Clean. No va a ser call it. I call it my mom yesterday. No, no, no. no I called. Call. Called. Mm -hmm. Right? No va a ser offer it. What is it? Offered. 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 D -d 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 -d. Right? No va a ser love it. What is it? Love. No. Loved. Loved. Muy bien. Okay? So, vibration, termination. D. D. Vibration, termination, D. Let's go with no vibration, which is T. Jackie. Tell me to read. If the word finish with a boy, boy, voiceless. voiceless consonant sound, the ED is pronounced as T. Like T. Thank you. So, no vibration. Look, pick. Pick. No vibration. It's going to sound like T. Picked. Picked. 
picked. You see? Look at the difference. Picked. Loved. Picked. You see? Picked. Loved. Loved. Picked. Y este? Helped. 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 Very good, mister. Helped. Y este? Kissed. 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 And this one? Fixed. Fixed. Excellent. Wash. Washed. Washed. Sniff. 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 Ahí está. So, vibration, termination, vibration, termination. What is D? D, e. vibration, termination, D, and no vibration, termination, D. D. T. Okay? And the other one is the Mexican sound. Mr. Ricky, can you help me to read? I'll hear Mr. Purfa. Yes, teacher. Thank you. If the word finish with the, the D, sound, the T, sound. The AD is pronounced as a separate day. Um, syllable. 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 With an. E, it. ED or et, exactly. ED. Very good. So, seamos lógicos. Miren. Si termina en D, no podemos usar ni la D ni la T porque acá está la D. ¿Me explico? Uh -huh. O sea, sería ilógico, ¿no? Y si termina en T, ya tenemos acá el sonido que, te, que vamos a terminar con T. Entonces no podríamos usar esos sonidos, right ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Agregar una sílaba más para sonar el TET, por ejemplo. One TET. Two syllables. All right Graduated, another mm. syllable. Okay. Needed and folded. Okay, dokie. All right. So, vibration. <laughs> D. D. No vibration. D. D. And termination with D and T, obviously. E D. E D. Okay, okay. Let's see. We have this exercise. This one. What page, teacher? I think it's page number one, the first one. Number one. I think we were wrong yesterday. Yes, I think we were Pero pueden hacer el otro. <laughs> Ay, profe, qué mal. Sorry. <laughs> no, sí. Ok. Ok. Lo voy, lo voy, a, lo voy a hacer un, un change. The change. Ok, no. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ok. Um, actually, this is not B. This is T. 30 t-shirt 30 30 verbs yes 30 verbs okay yes. yeah. i got it like in this case ser... look uh ¿qué página es, chicos? la uno la uno okay. mister the number four <laughs> ah, sí, the number four. <laughs> for me is the number four <laughs> mira octavio para, para que no vayas en desfase para que no vayas en desfase octavio Esto expliqué, rapidísimo. Si el verbo, mira, si el verbo que dices termina en vibración, por ejemplo, call, l, l, mm. si termina en vibración, la e d va a sonar como d. D. Como d, por ejemplo. Si tú dices, no vas a decir calet. Calet va a estar mal. 
Esta E de va a sonar solamente como D. Y va a sonar cold, cold. Cold. ¿Me expliqué? No call it. ¿Yes? Yes. Y si no vibra, como aquí, kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. Is. Si no vibra, la terminación va a, ter va a ser con T. Kiss. Kissed. Kissed. Ok. Ok. Nunca vamos a decir esto, ok. Kiss it. Kiss it. No. Ok. Kissed. Kissed. Okay. Kissed. Pero, rapidísimo, Octavio. Pero si terminan D y en T, como ya los tenemos acá, la D y la T. Vamos a tener que hacer una sílaba más, como wanted, graduated. Wanted. Aquí, sí suena, aquí sí suena la ED, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. You got it. Yes. Let's go with the exercise then, guys. Number one is worked. 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 What is it? Letter T in this case, right? Number two. Look, the spelling is. What is that pronunciation? With D or with T? Miren, esta es la que deben de ver si, si, si vibra o no. Try, 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 try. We did. Very good, Jose. You got it. Tried. 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 No try it. Okay? Right. Okay. Number three. Travel. Fíjense si la L vibra. Travel. Travel. Traveled. D. Travel. D. Very good. Traveled. Traveled. Let's go with four. Listen. Finishes with Finishes with T sound. Translate. Translate. Translated. Translated. Translated o translated. Acuérdense que esta la vamos a poder hacer una R en algunas sí. ocasiones, ¿ok? Translated. So translated. ED. ¿Vamos bien, Richie? Yes. Ahí, ahí vamos. Ahí vamos. Sí, es complicated. Es la pronunciación ED. Of course, es complicated. All right. Number five. Listen. Surf. 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 ¿Se vibra, no? Surf. ¿Vibra? No, es la F. Surf. Surf. Oh. T. It's a T. Surf. 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 Ahí está. You sure? Yes, sir. Is the... ¿Es toda la palabra o la terminación? La, la, ter, la, el último sonido que tú pronuncias del verbo. Ese. Si vibra o no. Ok. El último sonido. Surf. El último sonido. Ok. Surf. Surf. Pero... Quédate ahí, mira, Octavio. Hazlo así. Surf. 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 Ah, a ver, Octavio. Nada más es la F. No vibra la F, ¿verdad? No. No hace Surf. All right. Look at this one. Return. 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 Returned. Porque la, Return. la N sí vibra, ¿ok? Yes. Pulled. 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 D or T? Pulled. D. 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 Entonces sería... Así sería la pronunciación. Pulled. 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 Perfect. Pulled. Order. 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 Y. 
D. With D? With D? With D. Order, right? Vibra. Number nine finishes with D. Need it. Need, Need it. it. This one is E D. Right, E D. Next go with number ten. Finishes mm. with D. Mend. Mend it. Mend. Mend it. You got it. E D. Let's go with eleven. Eleven. Look. Lock. Lock. T. Lock. Lock. Locked. Locked. Esta ID suena como T. Locked. Locked. No lock it. Lock. No te veo, Jackie. ¿Vas bien? You're good. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Kill. Kill. Healed. 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 Very good. Vibration. Look. Yo. Aquí la E no suena la E, ¿no? La Yo. terminación es... Joked. 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 Ahí está. Eh? With T. With T. Joked. Joked. Thank you, Jackie. Joked. You correct? Yo. Let's see. Invent. Finishes with T. Invent. Vented. Vented. It is. Vented. Let's see with interrupt. Interrupt. Finishes with T. Interrupt. Interrupted. Interrupted. Finishes with T. Interrupted. Is. Okay. Tell me, Jose. Is is equal with R? Interrupter? No. Mm -hmm. No será como R esa, no? No. Interrupted? No, because of okay. this T. It will be complicated, right? Okay. Interrupted. Okay. That's the problem. Interrupted. Abrazar. <laughs> Hug. Hug. With D. Uh, With D. Hugged, hugged, uh, hugged. Very good. Uh, y double G, you remember? Y double G. Okay. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Uh, is one syllable. One syllable, perfect. Hugged, hugged. Uh, there you go. Uh, remember this one? Pedir right the hitchhike. 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 Only D in the spelling, but it sounds like K -k 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 with T. Hitchhiked. Hitchhiked. I start. Hitchhiked. Number 18. Glance. Look at the pronunciation. Glance. 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 Lance. 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 Only, only Lance. D, but what is the pronunciation? Termination. Lance. Lance. Huh? No. Lance. T. Wait, T. Porque el último sonido es como una S, ¿no? Lance. Lance. Y no vibra. La S no vibra. Lance. Very good. Number 19, yeah. look. Follow. 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 Followed. D. Followed. 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 Follow. Entendimos, Jackie, a la vibración. Sí. Let's see. Explain. Explain. Explain it. Explain. Explain Blame. with with D. Porque la N vibra. Twenty one. Exist. Exist. Existed. Existed. Because finishes with T. E. Twenty two. 
Drag. 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 It's going to be D, right? Drag. Drag. Vibra. Arrastrar, sí. Arrastrar. Drag. 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 Deliver. Delivered. 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 Entregar. Count. Count. Finishes with Counted. E. Counted. ED. Counted. Let's see. Compare. Compare. D. Only D. D, but but D pronunciation. Avoid the 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 avoid. 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 Avoid it. Finishes with D. One more syllable. Avoid it. 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 Creo, Jose. Okay, you have, it's obligatory to have a, a vowel before to make it R. Mm, avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Or for example, when you go like this, need, need, it. need it because need it. this is a vowel. Mm, okay. okay. This is going to be D. Ah, no, no, no. ED. Okay. 27. Apologize. Okay. Apologize. T. T. Apologized. Apologized. 27, 28. Apologize. Annoyed. 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 ¿Por qué? Annoyed. Porque sí, sí vibra la I. ¿Ok? Annoyed. 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 Yeah, good, annoyed. Octavio. Yes, annoyed, annoyed. Twenty nine. Advice. Advice. Pues la ese no suena este. Sí. No suena. Sería advised, 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 advised. And the last one finishes with D. Afford. Afford it. Afford it. Afford it. Afford it. Yeah. It has to be ED. Afford it. Okay. All right. Entendimos cómo se pronuncia la ED. Okay. So it's um, más práctico. Es más práctico Practice. porque usualmente decimos love it, clean it. Love. 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 It. Clean love. it. Me. <laughs> like me. Yo a veces no siento cuánto, cuánto vibra y cuándo sí, cuándo no. No, no, no distingues todavía la vibración. Algunas, algunas no. Es no más larga. No me deja la propaga. Es que por lo, por, a lo mejor lo estoy haciendo aquí, algo más acá, más aquí metido. Ah, ok. Eh, eh. Ah, ok. Yeah. You know? Esos son los sonidos. <laughs> All right. So, I think we finish. Let's finish with this exercise. I think it's in page number five, I think. Page number five. Page number five. Yes, Vianney. Five? <laughs> All right. Help me with the instructions, Vianney, please. Oh, my God. Exercise number five. Ah, number five. Number five, right? Sí. Okay. Number five. Hicimos, hicimos uh, number five. Ya lo hicimos. Yes. Ah, okay. ¿Y por qué? ¿Quién me borró esto? Yes, they will finish this one too, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. New class.
Adjectives finishes with DD and IED. Oh my gosh. This is a good class. Very good class. Let's go with the info. Jose, help me with one, please. And two. One and two. Grammar notes. In English, we have adjectives that finish with ED and ING. Adjectives Stop that right there. Finish... One second, Jose. Oh, one second. Okay. Let's explain number one. Sorry. Number one says the adjectives are possible that finish with ing and with ed, right? Adjectives. For example, I have regular adjectives. By the way, what is an adjective? Or what is the functionality of an adjective? Right. Yeah. Right. Something. Regular oh. adjectives, like for example, clean mm. or tall, you know? Cold. Cold. What else? <clears throat> Regular adjectives. Beautiful, no? Beautiful, yeah, all those. Okay, so okay. those are regular adjectives. But also we have ing and ed adjectives. Okay, so look at this one. The movie is boring, right? The movie is boring. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo aquí? Boring. Boring, right? So, avísenle esto a su cerebro en este momento. Avísenle esto a su cerebro en este momento. ING no necesariamente es un verbo. Porque tenemos bien estipulado en nuestro cerebro esto I am cleaning right y entendemos sí. cleaning como que está pasando en este momento ¿verdad? sí ok hay que avisarle al cerebro que el ING no solamente va a ser el verbo pasando también hay una opción que es un adjetivo sí. ok All right, look at this one. The cleaning lady is very tall. Tell me which one is the verb in here. Tall. The verb? The verb? Uh-huh. Mm. Cleaning. Yo pensé cleaning. A ver, ahí cayeron. No es cleaning. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Is. 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 Oh. El verbo. ¿Y qué pasa? Su cerebro está como que registrando todos los INGs como verbos. Sí. Y aquí es un adjetivo. Cleaning is describing what? Lady. The, lady. the lady. lady. Entonces aquí decimos, la muchacha que limpia, right? Es, lady. este es tu verbo to be, es muy alto. Lady. Ok. Entonces, ¿entendimos esto? ING no necesariamente es un verbo. You got it? It can be an adjective. Same situation for ED. ED not necessarily, not necessarily, oh sorry, necessarily is a verb in past. Not necessarily, okay? For example,
Ok. ¿Qué hace su cerebro? ¿Ven esto? Dice, ah, un verbo en pasado. Right? No es un verbo en pasado. Which one is the verb in this case? R. R. This is your verb, right? And that ED in this case is acting like an adjective describing yes, what? Aburridos. The kids. Los niños aburridos son los niños que están aburridos, ¿no? ¿Están cansados en clase o qué? Están cansados en la clase. Por ejemplo, ¿no? Sorry about my example. <laughs> right? Hi, Leo. What's up? Hi, teacher. How are you, man? What do you mean? Bien, bien. Excellent. Let's continue. Vianney, can you help me with number two? Yes. Number two. Uh, uh, how pronounce Ad it? Ad adjectives. 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 That finish with ed are used to describe a feeling or how a person feels. Okay. So look at that one. Adjectives with ed describe feelings. 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 Como depressed, you know? Depressed. Miren este ejemplo para que lo anoten. ¿Qué dice ahí? La morra depresiva. <risa> Pongan atención, ¿es un adjetivo o es un verbo? Adjetivo o verbo? Adjetivo. An adjective. Are you sure? No. Si es, una, si es un adjetivo, ¿cuál es el verbo? Ninguno. Ninguno. It's a verb. It's a verb. Entonces, es un verbo en pasado en este caso, right? ¿Cuál sería en Spanish? What is it? La mujer estaba depresiva por su familia. No lo sé. No. El verbo en pasado, deprimir en pasado. Depresiva. No, ese es un adjetivo. Deprim... Deprimida es un adjetivo. Mujeres. Oh. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es el pasado de cocinar? Cocinó. Cocinó. Deprimir. Ay. Deprimió. Deprim, deprimió. Deprimió. Fíjate. Dice, la mujer deprimió a su familia con su historia, por ejemplo. ¿Make sense? Oh. Está haciendo la función de un verbo. Es doing the action of a verb. But look at this one. The depressed woman will not get up today. ¿Qué dice ahí? La depresiva mujer. <ríe> no, se, no se pudo levantar. ¿Es futuro? Sí. This is an adjective. Y aquí es, and this is your verb. No se levantó okay. hoy. ¿El futuro? No se levantará. No se... No se levantará hoy. La mujer depresiva no se levantará hoy. So, tienen que, tienen que ver si el ED es un verbo o es un adjetivo. Okidok. Algo en mi mente. Por oh. <risa> ejemplo. 
I am confused. I'm confused is it's a, it's an adjective. Porque aquí está tu verbo, right? Teacher. Yes. Is a is an in the position. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a change, no? It is a change. In the, in the fear example, you say the woman, the proceed. Yes. In the change, the was the deposit woman. Exactly. Because remember, adjectives go before the noun blue house big car depressed woman you see it's an adjective in that case yes. good observation good all right so we're gonna do some exercises to practice all that let's go with number one octavio can you help me to read please yes in english we have adjectives that finish with ed and ing. Mm -hmm. Examples. Um, ing, boring, exhausting, depressing, fry, fries. Fri fri frightening or frightened? Fries, frightening. ED. Bored, exhausted, depressed, frightened. Frightened. Very yep. good. Bright. Okay. So look at this tip. I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to give you a tip. ING can be adjectives for people and objects. But ED are adjectives for people. ¿Por qué? Look, depressed, deprimido, exhausted, super cansado. In this case, ¿cómo sería exhausted? Exhausto, right? That's an adjective. Mi pregunta es, Un, un celular que es a cell phone it's an object it's possible that the cell phone be depressed no no right so the the objects don't represent feeling remember the ed represent feelings okay Aburrido. El celular puede estar aburrido. Puede estar aburrido. Puede ser aburrido. Right? But no estar. Sí, Jackie. Okay. Look at this one. The movie is depressing. ¿Qué dice ahí? Que la película es Es depresiva. es depresiva, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿es this possible? The movie is depressed. No. No, no, no. La, la película no puede estar deprimida, pero sí puede ser depresiva, right? ING. You got it. Yes. All I right. got it. You got it. And on the contrary, people is possible. For example, the I don't know the um, the man is bored. ¿Qué dice ahí? The man is bored. El hombre aburrido. está ¿Ah? está aburrido. El hombre está aburrido. ¿Y qué dice aquí? The man is boring. El hombre es, abur es aburrido. El hombre es aburrido. Es decir, sus acciones son aburridas. 
You know what I mean? So for, for people, it's possible the ING and the ED. But for objects, no ED. Okie dokie. All right. ¿Cómo va su mente? ¿Hay mi mente o todo bien? Sí. ¿Hay mi mente? ¿Es un maderón por aquí? ¿Eh? No, todo bien. Let's see. Exercise one, Jackie. Can you help me? We need to answer hi and use the info to make. Hi. Mm. Mm. No. Hi. W H A W H question would it be going to? Uh, yeah, when... No, you know what? It's 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 too complicated this. Let's do something something relaxed, okay? <laughs> For right now. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. Look at the example number one. The kids are boring or the kids are bored because the movie is boring or the movie is bored. Bored. O sea, necesitamos adjetivos para los niños y para la película. Boring and boring and boring. Yep, the kids are bored. 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 Because we, we are describing people with ED. Because the movie is boring. ¿Cómo sería en español? Los niños están aburridos. Porque la, la película, película es aburrida. Porque yeah. la película es aburrida. Ok. All right. You got it. Let's see with number two. We need to describe the marathon and the runners. Exhausted and exhausting. The marathon was exhausted. ED. The marathon, the marathon is impossible with ED because the marathon is an object, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Como que dirías el maratón está exhausto. Oh, okay, 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 okay. E and G. Uh -huh, so the marathon was exhausting. 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 Exhausted. So the runners, runners were exhausted. The Spanish. The marathon fue. Fue. Exhausto. Exhausto. Exhaustivo, no? maybe, right? Okay. Ex exhaustivo. So the runners were exhausted. Ahí podría ser porque. Acuérdate que so puedes decirlo como por esta razón, for this reason. Uh, por esto los corredores están exhaustos. Exhaustos. Exhaustivo, el maratón, exhaustos los hombres. Let's see, José, number three is for you. Uh, Jose Octavio. Sorry. Jose Octavio. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, my mom is depressed because the weather is depressing. Excellent. My mom is depressed. Está deprimida porque el clima is depressing. Depressing porque el clima es depresivo. Very good. Let's see, Jackie, number four. Cleaning the house. Cleaning the house is. ¿Cómo pronuncia t-shirt? No. This one, it will be tiring. Tiring. Ah, tiring. So yes. I am tired. Tired? Exactly. Yes. Cleaning the house is tiring. Es cansado. Right? So I am tired. Así es que yo estoy cansado. 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 Same situation, but depending on the, you know, if you are going to describe a, an object or a person in this case. Let's see, Leo. 
You got it, Leo? Number five? But, uh, <clears throat> my girlfriend is terrifying. The okay. cows we no, no, okay. No. Termination ED or ING in here? ING. No. No. Mm. Change. 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 Uh -huh. ah, okay. Change. 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 Quiero decir. Oh, iba a decir que también puede ser que el ING sea para gente, pero es medio raro, ¿no? Hay excepciones o, o no. Hay, no, sí se, sí se podría, porque, por ejemplo, ¿Sí? mmm, a ver aquí, the terrifying, the terrifying woman. Ahí es como que la mujer terrorífica, pues, la que la, la mujer que, ha, que da miedo, ¿sí? So, it's possible. Sorry, Mr. Leo. Can you continue? No, es terrorífico. Ahí, ahí, entendí. ¿Hm? Y en la... Y sería te, terrifying. Ajá, ter, terrifying, terrifying. 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 My girlfriend is terrified because we watch a terrifying movie. Make sense? Let's see, Ricky, number six. La Vianney es terrorífica. Sí, era. Terrifying Vianney. <laughs> Danos de tu pizza, ándale, no seas tranza. No, Pati, no. De Little Sea. <laughs> Chingado. Ready, Ready Ricky. I am excited. I am excited, Run. exactly. For now, because I did yoga and yoga is exciting. Uh -huh. exciting. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Estos son los verbos de esa oración, I'm sorry. Ah. Los de abajo. <laughs> sí, los de abajo son para la otra, I'm sorry. Okay, I am relaxed. Yes. Right now. Right now, the cows I did yoga and yoga is relaxing. Excellent. Excitado, Ricardo. Yeah, excitado. <laughs> <laughs> excited. Right? Para excited. esto es excited. <laughs> y no es excitado, eh? es emocionado. Cuando el Octavio Cochi. ¿Cómo do you say excitado, Tishuri? Ándale, se adelantó el cosillo. Es un nuevo word for me. O horny. O horny. Ah, sí. I'm horny. Jackie, tápate los oídos. Jackie, tápate los oídos, Jackie. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Eh, y el Caleb Jackie también. es cultura general, Jackie, ¿ok? Pero aquí no está Caleb, ¿o sí? Ah, no está. No, Caleb. No, no está. Está Leo. Pero Leo, how old are you, Leo? ¿18 or 20? Sería. ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ah, 20. 20. Yeah, it's really? okay. Ya se lo sabe. It's okay. And Rick... <laughs> Ricky and Leo are brothers. You know that? Sí. Yeah. They're, ¿Ah, sí? they're twins, right? Son gemelos. Sí, sí, sí. Gemelos. Yes, yeah. teacher. Gemelos, sí. Son no, 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 no se parece. Ya, ya vi la cara de Leo. Es diferente. ¿Me tienes cuenta entonces? Of course. <laughs> Do you you have a twin, Octavio? No. no. <laughs> Sorry, no promotion for you, man. <laughs> All right. 
Debería ya empezarle a cobrar a, a Octavio mi mensualidad, bro. Ah, ¿por qué? ¿Verdad? Ah, ya, ya se casaron o qué? Sí, ya. Ya. Queremos decir Gracias. eso la siguiente Gracias. Clase. Gracias. Oficial, Lo queremos hacer oficial ya. Qué sí, sí. rápido avanzan en esta clase, pero en las clases aquí. También. No es cierto, profesor. Liars, liars. Hablamos de inglés okay. todo el día. <risa> Seven. I am excited. I'm excited. Because, because the trip will be very exciting. Because the trip will be very exciting. Estoy emocionado porque el viaje, el viaje será muy emocionante. Right? Perfect. Let's see. Bien, eh? Nine. I am surprised. Uh -huh. For that surprising. surprising. For that surprising. Give I recite from my Let's see, Mr. Jose. You got number 10. 10? Number 10. Uh -huh. My mom is. An annoyed, annoyed. Molesta, okay, molesta. Because the an annoying music my neighbor has. Me molesta, molesta. Sería el adjetivo para la música. Me molesta, molesta por la... Por la música. Por la mol. Por la molesta música de mi vecino. ¿No? Por la por música la molesta de mi vecino. O la, o la música que molesta. que molesta de mi vecino, ¿no? Michael Sure. Yes. Porque le molesta. Porque me molesta. It's annoying. Fucking. Mm -hmm. Fucking microphone. <laughs> All right. The audience. Octavio, the audience. Uh, the audience was interested in the interesting play. Yeah, in the interesting play. Remember, the play is jugar o obra. Una obra también. A play. Obra como obra de teatro. Una obra de teatro. Play. A play. Uh -huh. Play. No me la sabía. <clears throat> Let's go to a play. Let's go to a play. Vamos a una obra. Poco sí. Uh -huh. um, what you say, uh, I play or play the guitar is different. En ese caso es un verbo. Uh -huh. It's a verb. It's a noun, the play. The play is a noun. Es una obra, un noun. Es como si puedes decir, I play the guitar in the uh, Pinocchio play. Uh-huh. Yes. Makes sense. Dante, number 12. Dante. Worried. 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 Is worried about his health. That's it. No more. All right. Your favorite, Vianney. All right, we have a listening. Okay. Can you help me, uh, Jackie, with the instructions? For favor. Listen, listen to the sentences behind side for eight sentences you need to identify. identify? Mm -hmm. So, Use write down on the corresponding line if the if they use a uh, easy adjective or an uh, uh, I I am I, I. <laughs> yeah, on, you, you can do it, you can do it. I am I, I am adjective. 
you got it, Jackie. It's a, one more time. I'm just kidding, Jackie. <laughs> 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 one more time. No. Ah. Sí, vuelvo a leer, teacher. No. Sí, sí, sí. Espérense, es que, pues, eh, no, no sé qué hice. Shut up. My God. Ahí está. I know. ¿Sí estaban escuchando? Sí, sí. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Solamente el adjetivo, ¿ok? El adjetivo. Está con ed... O está con ING. That's the, that is the exercise, okay? And you write it down, by the way. True go. English Academy Listening Program. Step number 14. Listening. Ed or ing adjective. <clears throat> Exercise 2. Instructions. Listen to the sentences being said. For each sentence you need to identify the adjective used. Write down on the corresponding line if they used an ed adjective or an ing adjective. Number 1. The movie was boring. Number 2. He was an interesting person. Number 3. Tomas was exhausted after the soccer game. Number 4. This situation is very depressing. Number 5. Luli was bored at the movie. Luli was bored. Number six. It's an interesting class. Again? It's an interesting class. Yes. In movie. number two, is interesting. Uh -huh. Number six. It's an interesting class. Let's do. Thank you. Thank you. Number nine. Oh. What? Number nine? What? Me quedé en la número siete. Me too. Sí, la siete. Number seven. My dad was very surprised with the news. Number eight. The music is annoying sometimes. Is okay. Annoying. Molesta. Annoying. The music is annoying sometimes. Double mm. N. Okay. Annoying. Mm. Double N. Number nine. All students were confused. <laughs> you got it. Here we Confused. go. Confused? Confused. Confused. Number nine. <laughs> All students were confused. Number ten. We are excited about the concert. Number eleven. The trip to Paris was exciting. I un understand. Number 12. What? Number 11? Yes. It's the same, but ING. Uh huh. Exciting. It about the concert. <laughs> exciting. Number 11. The trip to Paris was exciting. You got it? 
Yes, thanks. Number 12. The doctor said the surprising news. Surprise. Number 13. What the teacher did was disappointing. Ahí está un nuevo adjetivo. Disappointing. Disappointing. Double S. Disappointing. And disappointing. Cuando te dicen algo así como que, oh, it's very disappointing. It is very disappointing. Es como que, eh, está, está, es, estoy como, en, es como, me hace enojar, pues. Por ejemplo. Chocaste mi carro, it's very disappointing. I'm very angry with you. It's very disappointing. Como que describes algo que te hace enojar. ¿Te explico? Podrías It's... decir, the disappointing actions of my son. ¿Te explico? Como desapruebo. Como desapruebo. Very good. Thank you. Disappointing. Number 14. The information was confusing. Confusing. Confusing, yes. Number 15. It was a terrifying moment. Terrifying. Yes. Number 16. The wedding was amazing. Amazing. Number 17. Cleaning the house is exhausting. Cleaning. No cleaning, no. Yeah. Cleaning, no. Cleaning the house is exhausting. Number 18. Her new look was shocking. 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 The Shock. news were shocking. Like, oh, shocking. Shock. Uh-huh, shock. Number 19. My mom was fascinated by my dad's present. Okay, fascinated. Listen. Her new look was shocking. Number 19. My mom was fascinated by my dad's present. ¿Cómo sería fascinated? Está fascinada. Fascinada. Está fascinada Fasc por, el, por el, ¿qué? Presente de mi papá o sí, de, de uh -huh. mi papá. El, el regalo de mi papá, ya, yeah. present. Very good. Fascinada. Number 20. It is frustrating to be stuck in traffic. ¿Lo cacharon? Here we go again. Mom was fascinated by my dad's present. Number 20. It is frustrating to be stuck in traffic. Frustrated. Frustrating. Frustrating. Si estás describiendo traffic, it is frustrating to be stuck in traffic. ¿Cómo sería frustrating in Spanish? Frustrating. Frustrante. Frustrante. Right? If you say frustrated, I am frustrated. Estoy frustrado. Frustrado. Number 20. 21, sorry. Number 21. Doing laundry is tiring. Tiring. You know how to spell tiring? How do you spell tiring? T I R S I N G. Perfect, Bene. T I R I N G. Es como si dijeran tired, 
Eliminan la ED y ponen ING. Right? Tiring. Next. Number 22. I was tired when I finished cooking. Tired. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number 23. The food at the party was disgusting. Here's another adjective. Disgusting. 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 Ooh, that is disgusting. You are disgusting. It's como de dar asco, no? Next. Number 24. The final exam for the class was overwhelming. Oh, overwhelming is together. Overwhelming. I'm going to spell it, okay? Over, over, W, H, H, E, H, uh -huh. W, H, E, like in email, L, like in Lalo, M, as mother, I, like iPhone, N, like noun. noon, thank you, noun. And G as girl. I don't know. Overwhelming. Is that new for you? Overwhelming? Yes. Overwhelming is when it's too much. Por ejemplo, tengo muchísimo trabajo. Como que me está sobrepasando. Por eso es overwhelming. Me está sobrepasando. Overwhelming. It's too much. Okay. Let's continue. Remember the class of pronunciation, the 44 sounds. Remember that class? It was overwhelming. It's like, oh, I'm tired. Continue. Number 25. My sister was irritated because of the weather. You got it? No. No? My sister was... Number 24. The final exam for the class was overwhelming. Number 25. My sister was irritated because of the weather. Tired. No. Irritated. What is it? Irritated. Irritated. Irritada. Irritated. Double R. Okay. Number 26. My little sister was horrified by the diabolic clown. You got it. No, here we go. Was irritated because of the weather. Number 26. My little sister was horrified by the diabolic clown. Horrified. 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 Okay. Number 27. Swimming is relaxing. Oh, very easy. You got it. No. <laughs> Shut up. Really? No. <laughs> it's una bromita. Number 28. Te voy a mandar a nivel 1. Okay? Yes. I'm a nivel 1. No, man. <laughs> is relaxing. <laughs> Number 28. My life is depressing. <laughs> Charlie, my, my life is depressing. Number 29. Taking the bus is depressing. Yes. Number 30. Yeah, again, depressing, depressing. 30 to finish. I was astonished when I saw the singer. Oh, aquí va un verbo uno nuevo. Stanish. 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 S-T-O-N. Aha. Stan. N-I-E. 
Astonish. Oh, no, no, it's A, it's a at the beginning. Astonish. One more time. A, like in Apple. S, as in Subway. T, as in Tito. O, Astonish. You got it? With S? With S at the end. S-H. S-H. Astonish. Astonish. Okay. Como les fue? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Here we go. Interesting, interesting. Exhausted. Interesting. Only one mistake. Wow, very nice. Which one? The number 17. 17, exhausted. I understand exhausted. Okay. How was it, Jose? Only one, very good. 29. One, the number six. The Interest. number six. But this is inter um it's interesting, interesting, I think. Interesting. interesting. Ah, okay, I'm good. So 30, correct? Yes. Excellent. Octavio. Five mistakes. Five mistakes, 25, Jackie. Six mistakes, teacher. 24. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Very good. Leo. Let's do it. Ricky. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Excellent. And Leo twenty-five. Yes. Thank you. Twenty-five. Yes. There you go. Very good. Okay, guys. Tomorrow it's Thursday. I see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, we're gonna continue with. We're gonna continue with this. Next 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 Monday we have no classes. Remember, okay. Next Monday. Next Monday. Puente. No class. Puente. It's Puente. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling. Día triple. I'm going oh. to the beach. You're going for to me. the beach. <laughs> nah, for me no. 
Why not? It's bad because it's my ¿Y business. Santa? Hard worker. Hard worker. En Semana Santa vamos a tener la Semana Santa, la vamos a tener completa. Ah, sí. caray. ¿Cuándo es la Semana Santa? La Semana ah, de Vestial. ¿Cuál Bueno, el 28. O sea, los cinco días. No, no, no. no. La, lo, no va a haber clase esa semana. Ah, ok. O sea, que ¿No? sería del 25 al 28. Regresamos el primero de abril a clase. O sea, ese lunes ya regresamos el primero de abril. Y usted de vacaciones. Oh. Ay, ok. Maybe. Es que, ¿sabes que Usualmente no doy, de no, doy de no doy vacaciones, pero los últimos dos años han no, no entra nadie. En realidad sí se va, ¿Eh? pues mejor, mejor si sí nos vamos y no avanzamos en el programa y no se hace un desastre, ¿ok? ¿Qué? Pero no a no lo se mejor, preocupen. A lo ya mejor mira. y yo creo que si es en abril regresamos no sé si voy a entrar uno o dos días, no voy a entrar, porque ya me voy, creo. ¿Cuándo te vas, mister? Creo que los primeros de abril. Ah, oh, ya, yeah. yo creo que van a ser esos días. Qué buenas vacaciones, claro. loco. Sí, sí, Pero loco. estando allá, ¿ya vas a poder bueno, entrar? Quiero ir. Vale, sí. Ok. Perfecto. Uh. Ricky, ¿todo bien, Ricky? ¿Todo bien, Leo? Sí, yes, teacher, very good. Sí, Recupérate, Leo. Bye, Jackie. Bye, Mr. Octavio. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, José. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.